first term on the left hand side is the absolute value of 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 whole square and this can be written as the product of 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 and the conjugate of 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2. This is equal to 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 multiplied by 1 minus the conjugate of z1 times z2. Opening this up, we get 1 minus the conjugate of z1 times z2 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus z1 times the conjugate of z2 times the conjugate of z1 times z2. Now this can be rearranged as 1 minus in brackets z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus outside the brackets z1 times the conjugate of z1 times z2 times the conjugate of z2. Now recall that the sum of a complex number and its conjugate is equal to 2 times the real part of that complex number and therefore the value of this expression is equal to 1 minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus absolute value of z1 square times absolute value of z2 square. Let's call this result 1. The second term on the left hand side is equal to the absolute value of z1 minus z2 square which is equal to the product of z1 minus z2 and its conjugate. This is equal to z1 minus z2 times in brackets the conjugate of z1 minus the conjugate of z2. This is equal to z1 times the conjugate of z1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 minus z2 times the conjugate of z1 plus z2 times the conjugate of z2. And this is equal to the absolute value of z1 square minus in brackets z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the conjugate of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus outside the brackets absolute value of z2 whole square. Recall that the sum of a complex number and its conjugate is equal to 2 times the real part of that complex number and therefore the value of this expression is equal to absolute value of z1 square minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus absolute value of z2 square. Let's call this result 2. Subtracting result 2 from result 1 we get on the left hand side the absolute value of 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 whole square minus the square of the absolute value of z1 minus z2 and the right hand side is equal to 1 minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the absolute value of z1 square times the absolute value of z2 square minus in brackets the absolute value of z1 square minus 2 times the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 plus the absolute value of z2 square. The terms involving the real part of z1 times the conjugate of z2 cancel and therefore this expression is equal to 1 minus the absolute value of z1 square minus the absolute value of z2 square plus the product of the absolute value of z1 square and the absolute value of z2 square. This can be rearranged as 1 minus the absolute value of z1 square minus the absolute value of z2 square times in brackets 1 minus the absolute value of z1 square. And this is equal to in brackets 1 minus the absolute value of z1 square multiplied by in brackets 1 minus the absolute value of z2 square. Therefore to summarize we have the result the absolute value of 1 minus z1 times the conjugate of z2 square minus the absolute value of z1 minus z2 square is equal to 1 minus the absolute value of z1 square 
times 1 minus absolute value c2 square.